The Bible isn't just a book of random stories. It's 66 different books that come together to tell one story. An incredible about God's love for us. And now for an amazing story inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 4. Verses 1 to 13. Jesus' baptism was one of the most amazing things anyone had ever witnessed. God himself spoke from heaven. This is my son, and I love him. I am very pleased with him. But from this high point, God's spirit led Jesus away from the crowds and the river and out into the desert, the middle of nowhere. For 40 days, he ate nothing as he focused on God's words and plan. His only company was the tumbleweeds, well, and one uninvited visitor. So, what have we got here? The Son of God. The devil stayed close by, hounding Jesus at every turn. If God is really your daddy, where's your crown? Where are all your followers? At the end of 40 days, Jesus was weary and desperately hungry. The devil slunk up and smirked. If you are the son of God, tell this stone to become bread. The devil pointed to a large rock. Shazam! Jesus knew that God's power could easily transform the stone into fresh, mouth-watering bread. But he also knew there was something even more important than filling his stomach. It is written, man must not live only on bread. He must also live on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Oh, so smart. But two can play that game. The devil swept Jesus up to a high mountain, perched on the very peak. It seemed like they could see the entire world spread out below. Great kingdoms with bustling towns and cities, towering palaces, strong armies, and vast mines filled with gold and jewels. I will give you all this authority and glory. It has been given to me, and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus knew that the road ahead would be difficult. Though he truly was a king, on earth he would never wear a crown. People would hate him, mock him, and in the end, they would even kill him. The devil was offering Jesus an easy way out, a quick and cheap way to become king. Get away from me, Satan. It is written, worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. Oh, so what? Furious, the devil whisked Jesus away to God's holy city, Jerusalem. They stood on the very highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, throw yourself down from here. It is written, the Lord will command his angels to take good care of you. They will lift you up in their hands. Then you won't trip over a stone. Jesus knew that God could easily save him, but he also knew that God's power isn't like a party trick for showing off. Scripture says, do not test the Lord your God. You, ah, you, ah, suit yourself. See how that works out. With that, the devil vanished until he could find a better time. Jesus had stood up under temptation and God sent angels to take care of him.